Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you are new here, welcome. So today's video will be a tutorial on this wig that was sent to me from All Love Hair. I'll have all of their information, the direct links, and all of the information about this wig down below in the description box. I was sent a 13 by 4 lace frontal wig. The texture is loose, deep wave. The length is 24 inches and the density is 130%. So the construction of this wig, it does come with your standard four combs and adjustable strap in the back. The wig does have four inches of parting space and the wig does have pre-plucked knots in the front. So half of the work is done for you, but to make it look super natural, you obviously have to go in and pluck more hairs from it. This is how the wig looks when you try it on your head. I have never tried this texture before. I've never even heard of this texture before. Loose deep wave, usually it's like loose wavy or loose curly, but for it to be deep wave and loose, that's something new to me. It's a really, really, really beautiful curl pattern though. Like this reminds me of spiral curls that you would use flexi rods to get. I think it's beautiful and I was super, super, super surprised at how full it got after I ran my fingers through it. So for a close up of this hairline, my own natural hair doesn't curve in the center of my forehead like that. So I know that I am going to have to cut out a shape that would be more complementary to my hairline and my face shape. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing that I will be doing is plucking the hairline a little bit more, but I'm not gonna over pluck it because I know that I am gonna cut my hairline shape out and I don't wanna have any weird bald spots or any weird missing hair in the front where the hairline is. So I am gonna just thin out the hairline a little bit without over plucking. I have learned a method that works for me do what works for you though, but the method that works easiest for me is when I do a zigzag part and I start tweezing within that zigzag part. The reason for the zigzag part is that if you do a straight part, a lot of times with me when I do a straight part and I'm plucking the hairs and um, sometimes more than one hair will get caught up in the tweezer and I may pull a section of hair out accidentally, that will end up with a bald spot in that section and it's easier to notice it when you're doing a straight part across but when I'm doing a zigzag if I do miss and pull more than one hair out at a time it kind of covers it because it's a zigzag instead of a straight part I hope that makes sense but it just it's a lot easier for me and it corrects my mistakes because you won't notice any bald spots. So I'm just going to continue doing those zigzag motions and pluck and thin out the hairline. So another method that I've recently started doing is putting a wig cap on my wig head. And that basically shows me exactly how this wig is going to look on my own head. It shows me how much hair I'm plucking if I need to pluck more hairs from the hairline. It shows me if I pluck too much hairs from the hairline. It shows me all of that because this is exactly how the wig would look once that wig cap is on my own head. So that's the easiest thing I would say. Like if you're doing it just on your wig block head, it's not an accurate description of how the final result is going to look on your head. The only foolproof way for you to see how much hair you're plucking and how it's going to come out is if you put it on the mannequin head with a wig cap underneath. Obviously, if you're not putting it on your own head with the wig cap underneath. So this is definitely a super helpful method. When doing this though, obviously you want your wig cap to be the same color that it's gonna be on your actual head. And I do have a video on how to tint your wig cap or how to dye it to become the actual color of your skin. So I feel like I've plucked enough and if I want to pluck more after cutting the hairline, I can do that, but we're good for now. So now I am on the hunt at Dollar General for a foundation that is poreless and matte. 
So Maybelline Fit Me came up and they didn't have many options to choose from, but I did get this shade right here. And if you look at your scalp, your scalp is obviously a couple of shades lighter than your skin complexion. So I'm, I'm just going to try this one out. This is in the shade 322. I do have a full video explaining exactly how I do this next step, but this is my method that I came up with a few weeks ago and I have been using it on all of my wigs and falling in love with it. I'm grabbing an empty water bottle and I am pouring 90% alcohol into that water bottle and then I am putting a few drops of that foundation into the bottle. I'm going to shake it up and then I'm going to test it out by spraying it on a paper towel just to see if it is the complexion that I'm going for. If I want it darker, then I can darken it. If I want it lighter, then I can lighten it. If I want it darker, then I will obviously add some of the foundation that I use for my face into the mixture. And if I want it lighter, then I would use a lighter color foundation to the mixture. This is my normal foundation on the left and that is the lighter one on the right. I am just going to try it out to see if the one on the right would be the perfect scalp color for me. And it looks like it's pretty dark. So we're going to go with that without adding any darker color to the mixture. I do also want to say that I did bleach the knots ahead of time because we are going for invisible knots. The knots do have to be bleached before you do this next step. So I am just going to turn that wig inside out and then I am going to begin spraying that mixture to the lace and then I am going to blow dry it and I'm going to do that two times just to make sure that I have a really good base just to make sure that it is opaque and just to make sure that if I do want to go and leave the house without wearing a wig cap it looks like I have a wig cap underneath. One thing that I love, 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 love about poreless foundation is the fact that it does do a great job at hiding the knots and it does do a really, really good job at hiding some of the grids on the wig. So it's really important if you are doing this step that you get a foundation that is lighter than your typical everyday foundation that you would use on your skin and your face because your scalp is lighter and it is also important to get a poreless matte foundation so that it can cover those grids and those knots much better than any other lace tint would. I am so happy with this method and the results from doing this. If you have tried this since I posted the original tutorial, let me know down below in the comment section if it's worked for you. Look how natural the wig looks with no knots. I have no wig cap underneath and it looks like it's literally growing out of my scalp. Before we cut that hairline out of this wig, I do want to share a tip with you guys. When I am spraying my foundation spray underneath the lace, depending on how watery your your consistency or mixture is, it may get through onto the other side of the wig and get onto the actual hairs. So I do get my makeup remover and I put it in a spray bottle and I just spray it on the hair and then I just use my brush and I brush it through and that gets rid of any foundation that may have transferred over onto the hair. All right, so now I'm grabbing food plastic wrap and I will be doing my food plastic wrap method. I do have a full video, a full tutorial on this method. So if you have questions, please refer back to that video, but I'm basically going to use this food plastic wrap that clings to my scalp and clings to my face. And I'm basically going to get a marker and outline my hairline. And I'm going to use that as a map to trace out the frontal so that I can cut it to perfect my hairline. So now that we have my hairline all mapped out, I am grabbing a razor blade and I only cut my frontals using a razor blade. I know a lot of people are like, is this going to mess up your, your blockhead? It doesn't mess up my blockhead. It doesn't get any holes in your blockhead at all. You don't even need that much force when you're doing this. So it doesn't even get down onto your blockhead, if that makes sense. Like it doesn't even affect it because you're not putting so much force on it. However, if you are like, having a heavy hand and you're like cutting your blockhead, then it will definitely pierce through. But I put the lightest amount of pressure 
as I am doing that step and I never have any issues with it cutting or slicing my blockhead. So here is my hairline. As you can see, it's an identical match and I'm really, really happy with it. And I am 100% satisfied with the scalp color as well. I think it looks super natural and I think it's a perfect match for my scalp color. Okay, because this hair is loose deep wave, I am going to activate the curls by using this Curl Activator Moisturizer by S Curl. I will also be grabbing some water and my Curl Enhancing Smoothie by Shea Moisture as well as my Denman brush. So I'm going to start off by cleaning my forehead with alcohol and then I am going to be using my got to be glued spray and I'm just going to spray two layers of that on my forehead use a blow dryer in between each layer and then I will be applying the wig on top then I'm going to add some baby hairs using edge control I'm going to put my head scarf on to set it and then we are all done I really do like the fact that the Swiss lace from this company was really soft and easy to blend in and I had no major issues with this wig at all so I do recommend you go on their website and check to see if they have anything that catches your eye. I have not got that much shedding with this hair but I did get very minimal shedding. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check down below in the description box for more information and for some promo codes. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe down below if you have not already. And I cannot wait to see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. It's Yeah, that's right. It's